Our next, our next guest has traveled a long way. He's a young man, just 21, coming from Romania, living in Denmark for a little while. And he's from JCI Romania, and now he's joined us here while he's staying with us. As I said, young guy, handsome, student, his biggest audience ever. Give it up for Remus! Thank you everyone. Um, nice to see some of you again. And uh, for those who don't know me yet, my name is Jonas and I come from JCI Romania. No, here it is. Yeah, JCI Romania. Um, I'm here. Uh, my, my purpose here is to present you some of our events from Romania, uh, which we consider to be a different approach of yours. So starting uh, behind me is the map of Romania. Like a little big fish, I can say, it uh, seems like. And um, instead of putting the towns, I put the chambers. So we will go on with the first chamber. It's JCI Timisoara, which is the chamber from where I came from. And starting with the projects, I consider that I should present you the business projects because you do such an amazing projects in, for the society. So that's why I want to speak about business projects more. So starting with the first project, it's business wings. And uh, it's about those uh, speed networking events, which you stay on the table and after you, you go around, go around and talk. But we think, let's do something different, let's think outside the box. So what should we do to make it special, to make people come more and more and appreciate it? So we said, let's put, let's, let's put the people into limousines and go them around the town and after change them, change them, change them. Believe me, it was much more comfortable and much more uh, approach to them to come to this event. So, if, if you can see, it was a success event, and every time they, they ask us when we'll do the next one, when will be the next one. Uh, usually, after, no, I was too fast. After those kind of events, we do BDS Arena event, which is a special event. Uh, the purpose was to transfer the fair play from sport to business. Because in business, should be fair play. Should be fair play. I know it's competition, but fair play should be the first thing. So, uh, starting from this, we put them play sports. But we think outside the box again and said, let's do it different. And let's put them play different sports in suits, not in usual dressing uh, uh, t shirts. <laughs> so, uh, it, it was the first, uh, second edition, Business Canoe. It, as you can see, uh, they sacrificed their suits for this sport. But you can see the smile on their faces, they, they enjoyed a lot. Football, <laughs> a, no, a non sport. Yeah, Copenhagen. I'm sorry, but maybe next time you will win. <laughs> so, the last business project I want to present you from JCI Timisoara is Timisoara Business Days. This project started from, started from Timisoara, but now became a, such a big business, so we are only partners. Uh, an average, the average businessman from those events, because it's 4, 000, uh, four, four towns in Romania, who has those events, it's 500 in two days. 500 people are coming. Workshops, conferences, everything. Big networking is everything you want. And it's, it's look, our partners, we were talking in Active Citizenship Workshop about partnerships. We gather a lot of partners and are <coughs> just some of them. Oh, what I did? Uh, going further, I have some pictures from this, from this event. Uh, here are some interviews. And now I have a big question for you. Please raise your hand. Who know who is this person? Let's see. Let's see who recognizes this person. I give you a tip. It's not a JCI member <laughs> or an ex-JCI member. So not so many. This man is named Dracula or let's say Vlad Zepes, because Dracula is the nickname of the of his legend. So he lives. He lived. Used to live in that big castle. So from this idea, my colleagues from, uh, from JCI uh, Cluj started this beautiful event, which is Dracula Business Camp. You can see they were Dracula Business Camp seriously organizer, dressing themselves in Dracula. And also, they, it's an international camp. Besides the usual trainings and, and workshops and events, they do a lot of other activities together. 
treasure hunting and castle and a lot of things. I can show you some pictures here. Uh, and maybe you recognize someone in this picture. No? Oh, again, I confused this button. JCI network uh, off-road event. It's a different approach of networking. Besides putting them in the limos, what we did in JCI Timisoara, they put them in off-roads and go together for a weekend. And believe me, it's a nice uh, way to do networking. Believe me. Oh, again. Ah. So here we have some pictures from JCI Buzo, a jumper. Yeah. It's countryside of Romania is special because it's remained as, as it was. And here from JCI Constanza, they were bigger because they had a partner with the JCI Road Club. Also, the next event I will present you is from JCI Bucharest, our big capital. And I wanted to show this one because it has something special. It gathered all the businessmen who, has, who had, um, I can say, business with turnover bigger than 100,000 euros to share their opinion, their problems, like a private club said, this week I had a problem, what do you suppose we should do? Uh, or look how I solve it. Did I did well or did not? It's an interesting uh, club, I can say, to share your experience. Your experience of a big entrepreneur. So it's quite a successful event. Also, APM, European <laughs> President's Meeting. It was the first one uh, held in Romania, and it was in Sibiu, which is the European capital of culture, uh, in 2007. It's a very beautiful city. And thank you very much for your attention and time. <laughs>